Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. <coughs> My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign where we are trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but Sparks and Psyops. And we're pretty far into the game. Um, the game uh, throws us another curveball with Operation Winter Knife, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're neutralizing or kidnapping an VIP. And yet another great thing about Sparks is that they really are not tired. Never ever. So you can uh, take them on whatever mission you want. This is a perfect example. We're just coming back from a mission where everybody is tired and we're not giving a damn. Instead, whilst everybody else is tired, specifically Quick Feed here, uh, we're just essentially taking the mechs and they act as if nothing would have happened. The same team as in the last uh, mission is running this one back to back action with Storm, Quick Feet, uh, Renven and the three Sparks. Uh, let's uh, go and see what we can do. Hopefully we're going to see one of uh, the alien uh, rulers again. All right, we landed, here we go. Uh, the game is already giving us high ground, uh, the little Psyken advantage. If you played it long enough, game will always uh, start on high ground. I'm just kidding, of course it won't. So uh, let's move down here. Trying to maximize our movement towards the target, still retaining high ground. Good, and we got a potential hack. Just want to see what the options are. Keep in mind, mechs are not the best in hacking. I mentioned it a few times. Nonetheless, it'll uh, might be, maybe save your life, uh, but no, we don't want a vision increase. Specifically, not with such low chances. Good. Vector is moving there as well. And finally, Dagger kind of moves up here. Followed nicely by all of uh, the Psy operatives. Will do. Double move even. Very good. We're aware that there is one pack there and we want to really keep it moving. And what that means is we're probably going to transition over here, keep that high ground and fight all the way uh, through there. In order to do that, I will make uh, the decision to continue. Very much moving in that direction. Double movement. I always keep a mimic beacon in reserve in case we're running into that one civilian that would spot us out. Didn't happen. So in that case, we can move everyone. Double move at the right moment in time will save you just a lot of hustle. The bouncing on the ground tells us there's definitely a sector port around and our fast movement is showing its uh, uh, its benefits. We can reap them by essentially moving all the way over here. Let's use this as our hopefully furthest move. Yep, that looks like a great idea. Moving over. Oh, look at that. Uh, I've never seen a sector port effectively trying to climb up a building. That is a new one for me as well. <laughs> it's hilarious. Um, not sure how the structure of the building even <clears throat> can, uh, can maintain. The amount of weight. I'm gonna move there. And let's move here plus. Heading there now. 
use quick feet to move over here. So we got two overwatches, not the best, but not the worst either. As long as the sector pot begins to move away, we should be fine. Uh, of course he does not. But even that does not scare me really. Just gonna move up here. One, two, three. Okay, can't see the sector port. One, two, three. Can't see the sector port either. It is just so big in standing up there. Wow. Okay, so how do we start uh, this whole uh, this whole bonanza? Probably going to start with a nice blue screen round shot on the Spectre. And there's the execution right there. Good job. Thanks to Hunter, we're seeing some extra shots. I don't want to go there because I already know that uh, the sector pod is going to abuse that. So what we're going to do instead is... I am... I'm going to overdrive. Just try to check in before we do anything. Uh, that is an incredibly good chance of even hitting them. Yeah, we're not going to remove the cover if we have such great odds in hitting them. That's one down, and Target engagement failure. that is hopefully another one down. <laughs> okay, hilarious. Good, down and down. Overwatch, as mentioned, uh, we are going to stay put for now. That sector pot has scared me just a tiny bit. Is it still up there is the question. We can hear it, so... My gut feeling tells me yes, and I am willing to put my money where my mouth is at. So we're going to do a really nasty start, which is removing everything. Leveling the entire building. That's the strength of a mech. Look at it. Bam, gone. Just straight up gone. <laughs> Undying loyalty. It's the only thing that uh, that you will see. All right, time to send our melee forces in and officially trigger the pack. There we go. Hunter triggers as the sector pod decides to march in. <laughs> okay, that worked out well. That worked out fantastic, to be honest. And Dagger is just completely destroying it. He killed that entire pack by himself. I mean, just look at it. Well, 
so much for the entire uh, pack of the sectopod. <laughs> okay, that is just cruel at this point. I'm enjoying myself, um, uh, guys. I hope you do so as well. But that was one mean, bad as engagement. So we knew that the sector port was sort of there, and we just didn't. Um, uh, we just didn't stop to completely retaliate on them. One big, like all of this here, is leveled by just a single explosion. Keep that in mind. And then that killed. Every single one of them, you see one, two, three damage plus falling damage was too much for them. They were just gone. The sector port was almost entirely shredded. He then moved in, took an additional shot by our mech and then the mech shot twice as well. So it was down to 10 hit points. So the mech alone dealt almost 100 hit points, completely shredded, destroyed everything. That is incredible amounts of dps that we have witnessed there all right superior stock cool and also seeing our target you know since we need to go out here we're Starting to move into the direction of the target. It does not surprise me at all that we're seeing enemies. Good. Moving up here. And... Moving up there, and that should get us in range. Quick feed moves over here. And Roby moves over here as well. Let's start with the obvious. I'm gonna kill that sector here. Thanks to melee vulnerability, uh, that's a bonus kill did we just pull another pack well yeah we did all right at least now the playing field is leveled i like it what i do not like is just how much cover you guys have Let's find the right uh, angle here. I think that's the right angle. Just getting all of the cover out of the way. Very nice. Good, and we got even more to go. We're parrying. Yes, please. We are afterwards going to inspire. So the Templar is gonna go in further. Thanks to psionic shenanigans. Storm is back in game. Overdriving. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Well, there's going to be a display of just how imbalanced heavy weapons are. Bam! Multiple enemies, and Multiple enemies down. <laughs> okay. This is hilarious. I absolutely love it. Let's start hitting the Archon. Archon is almost down.
We got a superior repeater. Yeah, that does not help us. But we got, if I'm not mistaken, a superior scope. No, that's just a scope. Good. We're going to kill the Archon. Unfortunate miss. Uh, unfortunate miss. What we can do is we can stasis this guy, taking it out. Next turn we can uh, take care of it. Don't want to waste uh, the Mimic Beacon. Psionics are so unfair. Oh, really? Undying loyalty. Okay, cool. No problem. You know what? We're just parrying because we do have two parries now and that will trigger a uh, blade storm. Both of them will die. There we go. One down. Templar at its best. This is just a display of force at this point. Stasis ends, which is fine. We're just going to casually move up. Moving. Yeah, we don't want to da uh, damage uh, the spark. Instead, we're using our superior repeater. Roby's moving up. Storm is moving up. Uh, Dagger is also moving up. Quick feet is moving up. And Vector is moving up. Holy smokes! Uh, we had a few pretty nasty uh, mm, engagements. I almost feel bad for Advent because they really, really uh, drew the short end of the stick in this uh, engagement. I mean, think about it, like two engagements in a row, they were just positioned in a way where, <laughs> where we used heavy weapons. And, I, and either all of them took just a uh, shit ton of damage or they sort of fell down. Or they sort of took damage, got shredded, fell down, then ran into an overwatch trap. I'm not even sure if they really had a lot of time to shoot back. It almost felt that they were just constantly under pressure. And we have six turns left when we're finishing the mission. Ouch. Well... I feel for them. The reinforcements come in just a tiny bit late, guys. I think good intention, but unfortunately not really good execution. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, uh, that was a uh, pretty a fun mission you have done an outstanding job leading the resistance commander good and we got a negative trait i already figured that that might happen well 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 that was a quick one heavy weapon yeah we can investigate you know what that could always be a really good heavy weapon the plasma um a blaster is just Im amazing on them, on the mechs. You've uh, seen just how much damage it can deal. We're almost done with his training. Uh, Soul Steel is probably what I'm going to get next. Uh, that means he can heal himself. I like that idea. Hmm. Yeah, I like that idea. Uh, Shiism isn't bad either. Inspire, you've already seen just how well that works if you give it to 
your Templar. So that works well. We also got tactical analysis now, so that's another really, really strong resistance order. And I think we wanted to go for the Warlock next. Well, now, uh, now our Psy Operative is shaken. Well, good job, Psyken. That really worked well, didn't it? Just wait a second. Is it any soldier? Yeah. Ah, okay, soldier captured. Yeah, that's the problem. Nope, still can't do it. Well, that means we're probably going to face him in the final uh, mission because I'm not going to just sit out and wait that long. Fortunately, we can't really recover that shaken and we... I was sort of greedy putting him uh, in the mission. That is... Pretty unfortunate. Soldier captured. I still don't want Hogbite to be captured. Whether I am overly protective there or not uh, remains to be seen. We really don't need much of the other stuff. Could go for machine learning. Not really great. I don't need promotions necessarily. And we don't need supplies. What we actually would need is the ability to do that. And can't really do anything here. I don't want to kind of just for the purpose of making that run quicker. Um, quote unquote, break my own rules and put uh, just any soldier here. I could do that, of course, and just proceed with it. But what would be the idea of a challenge if you are sidetracking it? Uh, that just doesn't sit well with me. So can't do that. Sorry. And I don't want to risk even a low capture. I think it's still a 10 or 20% chance. And that would mean we would need to hope that Hogbite is the VIP on any of the future missions. That really doesn't sit super well with me either. Don't need to do the re... Well, we can could do the resistance contacts, I suppose. The advantage here is it doesn't really take much and it frees up uh, one resistance order. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. All right. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, 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 wait. Let's move somewhere else fast. Anywhere is good. How about here? Launch mission, yes. For the Western US that UFO is a problem. Yep. Let's actively go just absolutely somewhere else. I want to launch the mission. I still want to wait the three days. So what else are we going to do? Don't need intel, don't need anything here really. Let's visit the black market and then afterwards we're healing. Whew. I hope on the other side of the globe we might be safe and secure. Superior speed is good. Do we really need that? Got so much intel though. It's not bad for movement. It's not bad at all. Let's just get it. We can always decide to not use it. All right. Back to healing faster. I just don't want another mission popping up to prolong this run further. Well, and just when I say that, we're sort of uh, drawn into another mission. Well, let's see. Location scout, we can see everything. That's not bad. But it doesn't mean that we really need to do uh, this mission. Another scientist certainly is not bad. Getting one more gatekeeper here is also not bad. I think we wanted gatekeeper shells. 
that here is pretty much irrelevant. We don't need another soldier as a, as a reward. The only thing that strikes me is there is a dark, hidden dark event uh, that may or may not be dangerous. So just from looking at it, this here almost looks like the best thing that we can do. Although it's 27 enemies, but yeah, a lot of them might be lost, so why not? Um, now let's see if we can do that. And before we decide what we're going to do, I would like to see if, we're ca if we can upgrade something. So, should have plenty of options to upgrade. Don't have a sharpshooter, don't have that, we don't have either of these things. We're still uh, short uh, of the gatekeeper shells. So we might want to do a mission that includes a gatekeeper. Because that upgrade would uh, indeed help us. It's Dad's not a bad upgrade. Let's just double check around. if our selected yeah, mission would have problem. at least one gatekeeper. And then we should, we technically should be fine. We get another one here. So, sector port, um, elite priest, lost brood. Hmm. No gatekeeper. They instead have sector pots. It's very rare that you have sector pods and gatekeeper on the same mission. Only happened a few times. Um, here you would go with uh, gatekeeper. I don't know. I've never really selected the mission because I needed a specific enemy type. I guess we can do it. 22 enemies, not a really difficult mission. Eh, we could do it. Uh, the gatekeeper is a fun idea. You need to kill that one and there are losses on the mission. The losses are always uh, hilarious to fight against. So yeah, maybe we're going to do Operation Half Dead Sword, whatever a Half Dead Sword is. And uh, that brings us to the end of uh, this half dead uh, mission. We left uh, the enemies completely dead to continue it with a few punchlines. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Uh, this time a good stomp uh, for us. Next time we're going to do Operation Half Dead uh, Sword to hopefully finish up the gatekeeper portion. And if everything then goes well, uh, we should be done with the Shadow uh, Project. Meaning one more golden mission and a few more research, uh, uh, research attempts on the shadow chamber and we should be good to go um, almost. I would say most of uh, the soldiers by now have been um, yeah, maxed out to a degree um, that they can be maxed out and we sort of have found uh, a setup that uh, works for this run that I'm going to continue to uh, run with the three um, mechs are doing very very well in the uh, final mission three mechs uh, plus uh, two psionic uh, soldiers plus um, uh, psi operatives plus one templar might be the way to go uh, sounds like a pretty decent uh, setup to me anyways if you've enjoyed what you've seen uh, hit uh, that uh, like button matter of fact smash it and uh, leave a comment down below and we see each other in the next mission bye bye